Okay, so we've had to play around with Ansible using ad hoc commands, but now let's take a look at playbooks. So playbooks are where the fun really begins. Playbooks are very powerful and flexible. They let you do pretty much anything you can imagine with Ansible. You can create multiple plays within a playbook. We'll get into that in more detail. You can, uh, you can nest them together. So playbooks are made up of plays. So when we look at playbooks, you'll notice we actually create a document that contains a list of documents. Don't get, don't worry too much whether you don't quite get that. It will become very clear when we actually start writing the playbooks. But essentially, a playbook contains multiple, one or more plays. So a play is made up of a collection of tasks. So within a play, you define tasks that you want the play to perform for you. And those tasks are what use modules. Okay, so a task, the task is a list of things you want Ansible to do. And each item on that list will use a module like the system module, the packages module, the user module, the service module, and so on and so forth. Okay, and it's the modules that actually get the work done. And there are thousands of them. There are hundreds and hundreds built into Ansible, but there are many, many more out there in the wild. And you can even write your own as well.